Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So in this session, I will be continuing with uh, finding the solutions of uh, model question paper uh, set two, which is for uh, third semester CSC stream question number eight C. I am discussing in this uh, session. So they have given uh, the nine items of a sample have the following values. They have provided uh, nine items of this sample having the values as 45, 47, T, 52, 48. 47, 49, 53, 51. Does the mean of these differ significantly from the assumed mean of 47.5 at 5% level of significance? So, this problem is on T distribution. So, we need to calculate, uh, we know the formula for T distribution. T distribution is given by the formula x bar minus mu by s times of root n, where s represents the standard deviation of small sample size small sample size okay sigma represents the standard division of large population okay small population here s represents small population and sigma represents for large population so here they have consider uh, samples here small samples here, here you can see in page number uh, 21 uh, you are going to have a test of significance uh, for t test this is what the formula we are using for t test instead of sigma we can use s there that's all so moving on to the solution part so n, n contains uh, nine values and uh, mu is given by 47.5 assumed mean if they are not mentioned mean here you need to consider mu value as zero if they don't mention mean you need to consider mu equal to zero e remember this while solving the problem, if they don't mention mean value, you need, you need to consider mu equal to 0. How to calculate x bar means just consider this values and uh, sum of all these values divided by n will give x bar. Will give x bar. This is how to calculate x bar value. Now, after getting x bar, we need to find out s square here, the s value. So, s square is the standard formula that is 1 by n minus 1 times of summation i runs from 1 to n xi minus x bar the whole square so we know all the values that is uh, xi values above we have this is what uh, xi values x1 x2 x3 so on so my uh, subtract these values with the x bar value so we are going to get uh, the values of s square that is what i have done here you can see here 45 minus 49.11 whole square plus 47.49.11 whole square so on like that so this is how we can calculate uh, the value of s square so after getting uh, the value of s square take the square root of that so we get s value that is 2.6194 this is what the calculation uh, part i can say now i will show how to calculate this value called x bar and s in a simple manner by using calculator yeah, see here I have considered the calculator. Uh, first, I will uh, enter all the values. How to enter all the values means go with the setup here. So, press mode or setup. Uh, then take stat. In that uh, first option, 1 minus variance. So, enter all the value what we have x here, x bar y, x uh, while finding x bar values, whatever the values uh, they have provided. Consider all those values 45 press enter then 47 press enter 50 52 48 47 49 53 51 this is the values we have nine set of nine values so press ac then after pressing ac shift one in that one option we have six options out of six option consider fourth option four variance in that I need to find out x bar plus 2 equal to you are going to get the value of x bar as 49.11 that is what we are going to have 49.1 now what I need what else I need yes I need for that uh, go with the same procedure that is shift 1 in that consider the option 4 consider the option 4 in that option we have four option out of four option we can consider fourth option that is sx consider sx plus equal to 
you are going to get s value as 2.619 you can observe that whether standard deviation of the sample space is given by 2.69 or not you can see here so that is what we have got 2.619 as i was fixed for three decimal point i got 2.619 that is how we can calculate easily uh, by using calculate for mark's sake you need to write down all these things so write down these things and uh, cal for calculation part don't uh, make use of uh, all these things by uh, substituting in calculator directly whatever the way i showed in that method you can find out both the values called s and x part after making a note of uh, s value define null hypothesis so the null hypothesis is called uh, there is no significant uh, difference between the mean so then afterwards i am going to substitute all the values x bar value mu value s value n value calculating that i am going to get 1.8439 so for degree of freedom so as we are solving our t distribution we need to find out uh, the degree of freedom is given by nu of nu is equal to n minus 1 the value of n is uh, sample size is given by 9 9 minus 1 equal to 8 so therefore the degree of freedom for 8 uh, at 5% uh, level of significance is given by 2.3060 so which is less than the va value what we have got here so the value what we have got t value here so that value is 1.84 which is less than 2.36306 therefore we can say that whatever the assumption we do do under null hypothesis has been accepted so therefore the null hypothesis is accepted at 5% level of significance now my intention is to teach how to get this value by looking at your critical table so take out your uh, handbook look at your handbook in that handbook you can move on to the page number uh, 31 it seems page number 31 at the last they have given provided the tables this is what the table so in that uh, t distribution table go to t distribution table uh, this is what t test so under t test uh, you can see what is the value we got uh, for t at 0 0.05 we are seeing at for 8 degree of freedom is 2.306 so this is what we have t at uh, 0 0.05 so this is how uh, we can calculate at 95 percent see here this is what 95 percent uh, this is what we have at 8 degree of freedom the given value is what 2.306 that is what we have noted down the value called 2.306 this is how we can calculate the value of uh, t distribution value of uh, at uh, n degree of freedom so this is how we can calculate and we can solve the problem of any uh, problem of t distribution or chi square distribution is given in your examination if you have any more uh, discussion to do you can put a comment i will clear your doubts i wish you all the very best for your uh, exams upcoming examination thank you for watching this video kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video with your friends thank you all for watching me.